This is Pat and I wanted to take a minute to show you how to use the built-in uh, membership directory and leadership tools to create a list of leadership with uh, more details and easier management uh, and automatic layouts of those of those lists. Uh, this list of vestry and we're going to reproduce that uh, on the in in the uh, using the system tools. Uh, the first step is to create a person account for uh, the particular leader and so what we'll do is we'll do that for uh, Nick and I'm just adding his information and I don't have an in an email for him so I'm going to say no email at digitalfaith.org. Now each of these need to be unique so I'm going to use his uh, last name in order to make sure that there aren't any others used. And then I'll create a uh, password for the account and create the account. Now that once that account's created, it gives us details to uh, much more information um, about uh, the person. We can click these Warden Investory buttons. Um, we can see that he's approved. If we click on this leadership button, that's what's going to move it into uh, the digital faith area. And if we uh, put on here Vestry, uh, all right, we don't see it listed, so we can just add it to the list by clicking Vestry and then clicking Update Person. Now, doing those steps is going to move that individual over to the uh, leadership area. Now, we see that he doesn't have a um, photograph attached to his account, so let me just go ahead and add a photo now. And we'll uh, click both primary and show on profile. So now we've added his profile and if we go back over to uh, the digital faith area we'll see that uh, he's been added and um, now when we click on his account that will take us to details about um, him and show uh, a little bit more about the roles that he has uh, in the organization. Uh, this also gives him the opportunity to log into the uh, system and update his information and determine what information he'd like showing on his profile directly. So the process uh, is just as follows. We'll go ahead and add another person uh, just so we can see how that works. And let's add, um, we'll add Ann uh, next. Now, if we have her email address, it would be really good to use it because um, she can then recover her password. So now we should have the uh, vestry we do in the list, and we're going to add her as a leader, and then click Update. And so now if we go back over, we'll see two records added, and it's showing, showing her as vestry. Now, Let's suppose that we want to change the order or manage the order of the people listed on that page. Uh, we click over here on Edit Details and System Settings. And because we've marked uh, both of these folks as leaders, when we scroll down to the, oh, excuse me, when we scroll down to the leader section, we'll see both of those people are listed and I can put Ann as number one and I can put Nick as number two. Otherwise, it will um, list them alphabetically. So if you don't really need to adjust the order, um, you can just leave those blank. Uh, you don't have to provide a sequence to everyone in the list. If you provide a sequence, it will put them at the top and then it will put everybody else in alphabetical order. So if we refresh our page over here, we'll see that um, Ann and, and Nick's position have been uh, changed. Okay, well, I hope that helps explain it, Limp, uh, Mr. Moy, and please feel free to give us a buzz if we can provide more details or help you tweak this up. Thanks.